So Rachel, here we are at the Centre of Excellence for Wales as an English girl. How have you found it? Oh, it's brilliant. It's really nice to be down here. You can just sense the sense of professionalism and to be a part of it's really good. And, you know, it just gives us the opportunity to raise our level of training. And does Jasmine Joyce tell you anything about it before you got here? How great it was? <laughs> no, I'm not sure she... <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think yeah. she's actually <laughs> been part of it. <laughs> she's probably been here but can't remember. Yeah. Jasmine, she's a young girl. How she developed, do you think, over the last couple of months with you guys? Um, when Jasmine came in, she was really quiet and kept herself to herself. Um, and then as soon as she started to get to know people and feel a little bit more relaxed, you know she's coming, you know she's in the room, because all you can hear is her cackle and her laughter. And she's really, really good to have around in a team environment. And as a player, have you seen her develop, do you think? Oh, huge amounts of... Um, from you know, skill set to confidence to the ability to beat players one on one, and she's definitely come on over the last you know year with mm. us. And you know, it's testament to her. She's worked really hard at her close skills, and yeah, you know, there's never a dull moment on or off yeah. the pitch with Jazz. And I just remember when we were out in um, Las Vegas when she finally got a try, and she, before she even scored it, she's given the, <laughs> the old fist and the thumbs up, and it's like those kinds of moments with her that are pretty special. And your most recent tournament, she managed to score what six tries in the tournament. So she's obviously scoring tries for fun at the moment. Yeah, it looks that way. Seems to be a bit of a one-touch wonder. <laughs> Catch the ball, sprint on the outside, and dot it down. But she'd probably argue as a winger, that's what she's there to do. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we tell them anyway. So yourself, uh, you know, just this a month before the big day, uh, what, 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 are you nervous? Or are you, you know, what, what's the feeling like? Yeah, I think, you know, it's always in the back of your mind and we're nervous and excited as well. But, you know, every day is an opportunity to get better. And I think we're trying to focus day in, day out on what we're doing and always getting better, always learning, always improving. It's trying not to think already the 8th of mm. or the 7th of August. It's about tomorrow and it's about the next session that you do. And be honest, are the girls like really rallying each other? Because you know, obviously there's only 12 spots available. That's, there's you know bigger squad than that at the moment. So are you helping each other out? Or? Yeah, of course we are. I mean, we are ultimately, all of us have worked towards this goal and everybody's played a huge part in it. Whether you go or whether you don't go, you, you're part of the success and the road to Rio. Um, yeah. But we are all highly competitive. Everybody wants to be on that plane. And if we don't push each other, then you know there's no point going because we won't be competitive when we get out there. And what would it mean to you personally to get on that plane for Rio? It mean everything. You know, it's something that I remember when it was announced in 2009 that Sevens was going to be in the Olympics. And so I've had my eye on it and my like, heart on it since then. And to have the opportunity to go would be everything. And, you know, I really hope that I get that. Okay, Rachel, all the best. Thank you. Okay.